Hey everybody, it's Leon with uh, Bigfoot Okanagan. Thought I'd take you outside, do the the facts, how to hunt kind of background idea like uh, Steve does. Uh, I do a little different things than what Steve does though, is I actually vet out if I get a report that comes in to make sure it's true. So you guys at home who are watching uh, know it's factual. Uh, so this is what came in on Castanet News. And it was done up by, uh, I believe it's Rob Gibson. And he's the reporter who actually uh, uh, did up the report on the whole thing. He's a great guy. His investigation skills are, in a way, put Bigfooters to shame. <laughs> I'll explain that in a little minute here. So anyways, I'll read you the report so you have an idea of what, uh, what had happened here. And it says, uh, Kelowna man believes he is proof that a Sasquatch uh, is real. Roy Watson. Uh, lives on June Spring Road in East Kelowna and recently posted a photo of a six inch wide footprint. Uh, he Be careful out there, East Kelowna. I uh, had some possible Sasquatch prints in my yard this morning. Uh, woke up to my garbage can being torn to pieces and my fence gate, uh, gate snapped. Anyone else come across some sort of animal last night or could identify the print? Totally weird. It is totally weird. And I'll explain why it's totally weird. Watson says the incident had happened on January 19th and before he found the footprint he was not a believer. I didn't believe it at first, then I seen the print, I, it shocked me and I completely changed my point of view. I didn't really believe before. Okay, uh, Watson says uh, the night before he found the tracks he heard a loud commotion. The next day he found the garbage bin uh, destroyed. I'm just as shocked as you. Some people don't believe it, but I know it's real. That's all that matters to me. Him. <laughs> uh, since the day Watson has tried to connect up with so-called Sasquatch experts, uh, but the closest person he's uh, uh, gotten to confirmation is from a man named Brian Wells, who studied the prints, said he couldn't confirm they were actually Sasquatch prints, but he's not saying that he ruled it out. Watson says the print is uh, between 17 to 20 men's size uh, foot, and it was a very large print. Whether there is a Sasquatch in the area or not, Watson says he's not uh, taking any chances. I'm keeping my dog indoors at night uh, now, and I make sure that the doors are locked. So that was what the report was. So of course, when that came in, I ended up uh, contacting Rob. Uh, Gibson from uh, Casting the News and we had a nice great chat in the morning and I figured it would be interesting to get a hold of uh, Roy and uh, so I asked Rob if he wouldn't mind doing it and he said uh, yeah as long as you give me an update on what you find and stuff like that so it was quite fun kind of working alongside somebody who knew how to investigate things <laughs> so when you're looking at this particular print here uh, bef you know what do you think you think that's a Sasquatch print kind of looks like a Sasquatch print, but there's a lot of things that are missing there. The nice thing is there happens to be a measuring tape right on the print. And you also notice that the measuring tape is not the inside of the print, it actually goes on the outside of the t uh, print, so it makes it look like it's a wider print than what it actually is. Uh, that print is not 17 to 20 inch or shoe size, man size shoe. Uh, that print, if you use that measuring tape that's on that particular picture, you'll see if you put it where it's supposed to go, <laughs> uh, in other words, start at the number one mark, one inch mark, and go across, and it's about four and a half uh, inches across. And if you take the measurement again, using that same uh, measurement tape, it's about a 10 and 10 and a half footprint. That's the same as mine. Um, the other thing too, and this is where I give uh, Rob all the credit. He actually did a Google search on the picture and it turns out it's from a fella. Uh, here's the book here. It's the front cover picture of the guy's uh, book that he did on Sasquatch. The bizarre thing about it is the guy who used it as the front cover picture for his book didn't even recognize it wasn't an actual Sasquatch. <laughs> This is how, well, you have to up our game. I'm no writing a book and then putting a person's footprint on it. And so again, when you're looking at that print, you can see it's a person's print as well because it's you can see the heel mark. That's your first thing. The heel mark's uh, like a little bowl, like a little golf ball, you know. And uh, on top of that, uh, it's stepped in that uh, 
gooky contain <laughs> the gooky muck and it slid to the right a little bit that's why it makes it look like it's a wider print but it's actually not uh, the other thing it's obviously not January especially 19th because there's greenery around the particular print so and I live in this area and I know what the weather was <laughs> at that time so once again we're stuck with a hopeful desire that another report has come in and it's turned out to be not correct but that's what we do we have to educate ourselves educate the public and fess up when things aren't what they are and also point out people because he's already embarrassed himself he's put his name on this <laughs> it's gotten the news now and I know perfectly well it's not a Sasquatch at all so so I did contact him uh, Roy and I did ask him if he would mind if I came and checked it out and stuff like that and he seemed like he was you know okay about the whole thing he says yeah that'd be great yeah if you don't mind doing that and I said no no so we were planning to meet up and uh, he was supposed to text me so I can go take a preliminary look kind of knew again <laughs> what it probably was going on there by that time and he's never got back to me since at least not since the editing of this video so uh, it's not it's not a disappointment you can't look at it as a disappointment because most of these are either hoaxes as Thomas would say misidentification or it's actually a Sasquatch. <laughs> Those are the three options. Um, so again, this is just educational purposes. Uh, this is why I don't follow How to Hunt. I used to promote him all the time, but he doesn't do this. He doesn't bet any of the stories, so I can't use it as uh, information for what I do in research, especially in the local area here. So anyways, hope you guys have a good week. Hope this was kind of an interesting little quick video for you, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.